I'll look at you. Yes. Okay. All right, Christy, welcome back to Sea View. Just take me through what this first day back was like after we haven't seen you for a few weeks. Yeah, I'd been battling sickness on and off all year and um, got a new caddy, which I really, really like. He's great. And um, got off to a hot start. You know, five under on the front. It felt very easy, which uh, it's been a while since it's felt that easy. <laughs> I uh, struggled a little bit coming in, but uh, made a great par in the last hole. Why did it feel that easy for you? You know, I've been working really hard on my game, and I, I found a nice mental space, and I just played. And I think that's that's what I got to do. I might have tightened up a little bit coming in, but uh, that's to be expected when you haven't had so many reps. I need more reps. Yeah. I know we had a couple bogeys there on your back nine, yep. but that front nine, when did it really start clicking for you? Right off the get-go. You know, the, the 10th hole, I hit a great shot into the green, made birdie, um, absolutely pured my six iron on the next par <laughs> three and made about a 10 footer for par because it was so pure that it went over the green. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you want the pure ones, sometimes you don't. Um, and I just got on a hot streak making, a, you know, several birdies in a row and then just kept the momentum going. And um, I'd like to find that again tomorrow. What does it mean to come back to a place like Sea View, a place where you have pretty some, some pretty fond memories yourself? Um, yeah, I love this golf course. I've played really well here in the past, and MGM Resorts is one of my sponsors, so I get to stay at the Borgata this week, which is pretty cool, and uh, just great to be in Atlantic City. What are some of the things that you worked on specifically leading into this week? I know you said you've been grinding to get yeah. back out here and to be in contention like you were today. Yeah, I've been working on my driver a lot. You know, I'm still um, hitting some loose shots out there, but I've uh, worked on that a ton, and with this golf course, you have to work on your wedges. You have to grind that in there, and I hit a lot of really good wedges today. I know a lot of our longer players can't really rely on just hitting driver every single hole. Where do you think the strategy comes into play, especially on that front nine that can be a little dicey at times? Yeah, for sure. You have to know kind of the wind direction, and, and you don't want to get too close to some of these greens because... You know, even though I had a bit of rain in the last couple of days, they're still pretty bouncy. Mm -hmm. So you have to put yourself in position to be able to spin the ball into the greens. Christy said uh, you've been working hard, grinding, coming in. What uh, you obviously still have the fire to get better and compete and stuff like. Where, where does that come from? You think uh... <laughs> uh, it's a gift. You know, it's it's been a, a struggle the last couple of years, especially with um, losing my mom about ten months ago, and my dad was really sick for a while too, and and kind of made me kind of question life and whether I wanted to do this and, or spend more time around my family. And um, I'm just very blessed. I have a solid, you know, solid husband. He's, he's my rock and my, my family and a big support system. And I still have the fire to compete. And I still have a lot of points to make up to try to make that Solheim Cup team next year. And, and what are your expectations when, when you show up not having not played in a while? Like, what do you step to the first tee, you know, expectation-wise? You know, um, I would say the last six months I had no expectations and maybe that's why I played poorly. You know, and I, I put the expectation on the things that I could control coming into this tournament. Um, routine, mental state of mind. You can't always control where the ball goes, um, but you can control what you can control. So I, I did really well with that today. And just does it feel good to be... Look at the leaderboard and see your name on there. It and, does. Um, you, know. you know what? It really, really does. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying doing an interview. It's been quite a while. <laughs> but um, two more days. Thank you. One more Thank from me. Sure. You mentioned about going from not knowing if you wanted to step away to now wanting to be on Solheim in yeah. 2023. When did that kind of change your perspective? Well, I've always wanted to be on Solheim, but to be able to put the amount of work in necessary to be able to turn the game around, um, I just got to keep working hard. Absolutely. Thank you, Christy. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Great okay, job. You, guys, you too.